What's up, people? It's King Dove the Seventh, and I'm back to give you another helpful video. This, with this video, I'm hoping that I help you guys understand the hunter class a little bit more. I give you guys my perspective on how the hunter works, and maybe I'll help you become a better overall hunter, or at least give you a better overall hunter build. So, when I think about a hunter, I think about a quick, a quick warrior who can get in and get out do a bunch of damage in rapid succession but you don't have that much health and you don't have that much armor so that's what i usually build around right now with my hunter i maybe have a nine in mobility and maybe a five in resilience but my recovery is super low so that means that i have to spend a, a lot of time um like behind cover getting my health back up because it takes so long for my recovery to start and it takes so long for my health to reach max level but while I'm out I can do a lot of damage while I'm out there so that's how I think of hunter so when we're talking about hunters abilities and what makes a hunter perform this way first let's talk about class abilities and every hunter no matter what the subclass is you'll have this class ability these class abilities actually there are multiple too so you have marksman dodge when you perform an evasive roll it allows your uh magazine to fully reload so that means let's say you empty out your magazine but you don't have time to reload it and you're getting fired at from everywhere you can do an evasive roll you can do your marksman dodge and your clip will be automatically reloaded like may a lot like mccree's uh, roll in overwatch and then you can have all of that max ammo back into your uh clip and then you also have gambler's dodge if you're dodging near an enemy, that generates your melee energy back to full. So we'll talk about that more when we're talking about melees. But before that, let's talk about your subclasses. So you have your gunslinger, your arc striding, your knight stalker. So I do I do not use knight uh not knight stalker. I love knight stalker. I don't use gunslinger that much. So we'll talk about that first because that's probably the one that I'll have the least to say about. But I do like our Arc Strider and Night Stalker a lot. But I do know a fair amount about the uh, Gunslinger. So the Gunslinger. You have three grenades just like all of your other subclasses. You have your Incendiary Grenade, an Explosive Grenade that catches enemies on fire causing additional damage over time. So you can throw that at an enemy, especially in Crucible. And then they'll probably try to retreat and run away so you can run up on them and finish them off. You have your swarm grenade, a grenade that detonates on impact releasing multiple drones seeking nearby enemies. So that actually attacks multiple enemies. But it doesn't necessarily do as much damage on one person I don't think as the other two grenades. Because it has a possibility of attacking one person. But if it does attack, or multiple people, but if it does attack that one person, I think it does about around the same amount as the rest of them. Except maybe, I don't think it does as much as a trap mine, because a trap mine is so much harder to hit. And what the trap mine grenade is, it's an explosive grenade that sticks to surfaces and detonates when enemies pass through its laser trigger. So that one was super strong. I haven't used it yet in Destiny 2, but in Destiny 1, that killed people in one hit if, it, if they happen to walk over, and it could also stick to people. The problem with it on Destiny 1 though was that the trigger was super delayed so you could actually run through it and still not get hurt by it because it, would de it wouldn't it would detonate until way after you fully ran through it. So here are your jump abilities. You have high jump, upgrades double jump with, e with even greater height. You have straight jump where you can jump directionally even better than before. And you have triple jump, the one that I always use, which you get a third normal, you get a third jump in the air. So you can jump off the ground, you can jump once in the air, and then you can jump again in the air. So you have two different skill trees that you can use on your gunslinger. You have way of the outlaw and you have way of the sharpshooter. So I'll read them both to you and I'll tell you which one I like more. So way of the outlaw first. You get dead shot, which improves your ability to hit with golden gun. I don't know what that means. I think it means you have better target acquisition, which means uh like the auto aim, maybe Magnus a little bit more. You have chain or woe, which precision kills with uh weapon increases your reload speed. 
and I think it increases your allies movement uh, reload speed also you have explosive knife which is whenever you uh, you hit with your throwing knife which is the hunter's melee whenever you hit with your throwing knife it will explode a little bit after impact that's actually a new ability I'm pretty sure and you have six shooter where your golden gun can be fired rapidly six times but it has a short duration then you have way of the sharpshooter you have knife juggler which is uh, when you get a hit I mean you get a headshot kill uh, with your throwing knife or a precision kill because not everything precision kill is a headshot you get a precision kill with your throwing knife you get an immediate recharge for it so if you get a precision kill with your throwing knife you get another one right back in your inventory you get practice makes perfect where you enter a chance and each precision hit reduces the cooldown of your super you get crowd pleaser which enables precision damage with golden gun and precision hits with golden gun also generate orbs of light and you get line them up which is precision hits with golden gun increases its damage and you also get uh, extended golden gun duration so in my opinion it's pretty obvious that way of the sharpshooter is the best of the two skill trees for the uh, gunslinger i love knife juggler because if you're really good with your knife then you can just constantly get headshot kills with your knife and you'll constantly have your melee with a knife and also i feel like that does a great job with synchronizing with your uh with your gambler's dodge so if you do happen to not get a headshot with your knife then you can gambler's dodge away for or like around your enemy and then you'll get your knife back and you'll have another chance at a headshot so you'll have a good amount of chances to keep your knives and your melee just up practice makes perfect who doesn't want a chance to reduce the cooldown of your super just by getting precision hits crowd pleaser that's pretty good for a uh, crowd pleaser and both line them up if these are both pretty good if you're going to use the gunslinger for um for like raid bosses or things like that because if you can keep getting precision shots with your uh with your golden gun then you'll automatically drop orbs there and you'll be able to get more precision shot you'll be able to get more damage with your precision shots with line them up and it increases their duration so that's it for the gunslinger i think that in my opinion the gunslinger might be the weakest of the or the least useful of all of the hunter subclasses but i do also still believe it is a very good subclass next let's talk about arc strider which is my second favorite subclass for hunters so you have your same uh, class abilities you have the same two dodges but your super ability is a uh, arc staff where you generate like a you generate a staff made of arc energy and you do a bunch of melee damage and you have a you have a good amount of mobility because of the fact that you're a melee character and you I don't believe you have as much armor as the as some of the other supers when you can run around so you have a good amount of mobility where you can just jump around back and so first let's talk about the grenades you have the script grenade a grenade that splits upon impact creating multiple projectiles that seek enemies you have a, the flux grenade an explosive grenade that deals damage when attached to enemies it deals additional damage when it attacks enemies it always deals damage but it deals additional damage when it uh when it attaches to enemies so with the skip grenade you can throw that out and that can seek multiple different enemies it'll split up into like two different directions and can seek multiple different energies and it goes pretty fast and you have your flux grenade which is like a sticky grenade you can stick that on someone and then you can finish them off with your bullets but then you have the arc bolt grenade this is my favorite grenade because it chains a bolt of lightning onto multiple enemies upon detonation so if you have so let's say with the arc uh, with the skip grenade it requires two people to be near each other for them both to get hit but with the arc bolt grenade or not near each other but near the grenade to, for them both to get hit but with the arc bolt grenade 
<clears throat> as long as the enemies are close to each other, I believe up to four enemies, it will chain on all of them and it will do a decent amount of damage to all the enemies that it hits. So I, I'm pretty sure the jump on all of the hunter abilities are the same. You have your high jump, you have your strafe jump, you have your triple jump. But here comes the two, um, the two different trees of abilities that you can have. Again, I'll read them both and then I'll give my opinion on which one is better. So you have Way of the Warrior. In Way of the Warrior, you have Deadly Reach. Dodging increases your melee range, allowing you to lunge further to strike enemies. You have Combat Flow. Melee kills recharge your dodge ability. And you have Combination Blow. Kill an enemy with this melee ability to trigger health regeneration and increase your melee damage temporarily. You have Lethal Current. After dodging each, after dodging, each arc staff uh, hit creates a damaging lightning aftershot. And then you have Way of the Wind. And Way of the Wind, you have Disorienting Blow. Striking, uh, striking an enemy with this ability causes them to de uh, disorientate the target enemy and all nearby enemies. So it like blinds them for a little bit. You have Focus Breathing. Sprinting recharges your dodge ability. Increase maximum sprint, sp sprint speed. Combat meditation. While critically wounded, melee and grenades recharge drastically faster. And lightning reflex. You're harder to kill while dodging. So, I believe that each of these are better in different situations. If I was in Crucible, I would go with Way of the Warrior. Because I believe that combat flow, melee kills, recharge your dodge ability. And uh, deadly reach both combo super well with your uh with your gambler's dodge because if you remember gambler's dodge if you dodge near an enemy you get your melee back so if you're constantly dodging near enemies with deadly reach which allows you to lunch further in combat flow melee kills recharge your, do your dodge ability you can just constantly melee people and dodge and also you have combination blow when if you kill an enemy then you'll get your health regeneration increase and your melee damage will increase so that'll be good if you melee an enemy and you have a bunch of enemies around you you'll get a quick burst in regeneration and a quick burst in uh, melee damage and then you also have lethal current which will like that provides a good amount of aoe while you're using your super because if you're dodging around and you're just attacking people with your arc staff then people can't really run around after you and chase you around but with way of the wind where if you strike an enemy and it disorientates nearby enemies that'll be good if you're fighting a mob like in a raid or something like that focus breathing sprinting recharges your ability if you're in like a nightfall or something you know you're going to be sprinting around a lot trying to get away from the enemy's fire and you want your dodge as much as possible so you don't get hit that much combat meditation while critically wounded melee and grenades recharge drastically faster again you're going to be critically wounded very often if you're doing raids and you're doing nightfalls so <clears throat> that'll be helpful there and lightning reflexes it makes you harder to hit while dodging you want to take as little amount of damage in raids and missions and nightfalls and things like that so last but not least well first of all before i go there let me talk about what i believe that the uh where i use an arc strider on i pretty much use the arc strider i call the arc strider kind of the selfish subclass because it's pretty much only you putting out damage you get a decent amount of armor and you just go around and you just put out damage you just eviscerate everybody if there's a huge mob of people then you want to use the arc strider to do as much damage to the different uh to the different enemies as possible but i believe if you want to do as much damage to one target by yourself then you probably want to go golden gun but that's also very uh debatable because there are certain exotics that make the arc strider last very very long especially if you keep hitting people with your arc strider abilities so it's very debatable about which uh between the arc strider and the gunslinger which one does more damage 
but last but not least we're going to talk about the night stalker my favorite hunter class now if you guys have been enjoying the video i know this is going to be a long video but i'm trying to help you out i'm trying to help you guys make become better hunters make better hunters you know so if you guys have been liking the video please don't forget to hit the sub button and hit the notification button for future videos so let's talk about this night stalker though so first the super ability of night stalker which is shadow shock which you conjure and fire void anchors that trap and mark your enemies so <coughs> what this does is this is like crowd control when anyone gets hit by this ability they slow down and they can't really move and in crucible if somebody gets hit by this ability first of all if you hit them dead on with this ability they'll die but if they happen to run into the anchor or like run into it while it's already on the ground and run into the anchor let's say they have their super on it will cut their super off it will literally just absorb their super so this is a very useful very good crowd control so let's talk about the grenades yeah, Vortex Grenade, which I like. I like all of the, uh, I like all of the Night Stalker Grenades. You have Vortex Grenade, a grenade that creates a vortex which continuously damages enemies trapped inside. And it's pretty big, so that's a pretty big AoE grenade. You have Spike Grenade, a grenade that attaches to any surface and emits a turn of, of damage, of damaging void light. So you can throw that on the wall and it will just like spew out void energy and do a bunch of damage to somebody. And then you have Void Wall Grenade, a grenade that creates a horizontal wall of burning void light. So as you can see, all of those do AoE continuous damage. So again, that's very useful for everybody on the team. It can just uh, clear out mobs. And again, you have your same jumps. You have the high jump, straight jump, triple jump. And now it comes the uh, comes the different skill tiers, skill trees of abilities. You have Snare Bomb. This is your melee. You throw a smoke bomb trap from a distance with this melee ability. The smoke bomb sticks to surfaces and detonates when the enemies are near, slowing and disorient and disorienting, uh, disorienting them. I don't know why I couldn't speak there, but yeah, basically you throw this snare bomb at somebody, and it will slow and blind them. It'll be very hard for them to see, so that makes it very hard to fight the hunter one on one, especially in Crucible. Yes, Keen Scout. Sprint and sneak faster, and gain an enhanced tracker. Tether, um, tether enemies are marked for easier tracking. So, you sprint faster and you sneak faster, which means you can walk faster than anyone else when you're crouched. And you also gain enhanced tracking. I guess I don't know exactly what that means, but uh, tether enemies are marked so they're easier to see while they're tethered by your super. Deadfall. The void anchors fire from shadow shot become traps and wait for prey. Void anchors have increased range and last longer. So you can shoot that down at the ground and it'll just wait there for somebody to just run into it. And then it'll just snap onto them and they'll be, it'll, it's like a bear trap. It just stops them in their tracks and you can just destroy them. And then vanishing step. Dodging makes you vanish from sight for a short period of time. So if you do your double circle dodge, then you just kind of like disappear in a puff of smoke. So then you have your way of the pathfinder. Vanish your smoke. Throw a smoke bomb explosive from a distance with this melee ability. The smoke bomb creates a cloud that makes you and uh, nearby allies invisible. This is great during raids. If you're being bombarded by a bunch of enemies and you need to get out of there, all you need to do is throw your smoke bomb really quickly and you'll just disappear and enemies won't be able to see you. You can just sneak out real quick if you need to get your health back. Lockdown. Grenade and smoke effects last twice as long, allowing for a strong territorial controller and increased damage potential. So, as you said, all of those, all of those AOE continuous damage grenades, those last twice as long. And any, uh, any like CC grenade that you throw that blinds and slows enemy, or even the grenade that makes you invisible, that also lasts twice as long. So, and that also works for allies too. So, like I'm saying, like this is this is why I this is my favorite subclass. It's just the most useful one for everyone in the game. So you have Heart of the Pack, killing tether enemies creates orbs of light and increased mobility, recovery, and resilience for you and nearby enemies. So imagine that you shoot your super, and everyone who kills an enemy, or I don't even 
that if you kill an enemy, everyone gets increased mobility, recovery, and resilience just by killing a tethered enemy on your super. Just so useful for everyone on the team. And you have Mobius Quiver, Fire Shadow Shot, multiple times in rapid succession. Shadow Shot deals massive damage against tethered enemies. Like, it's just, I don't know. Like, in my opinion, Way of the Pathfinder is very useful for all of the raids because it just does so much for the team. It just does a tremendous amount for the team. Like, this is what I call this nice stuff. This is just a teamwork oriented hunter. Whereas. I feel like the Arc Strider and the Gunslinger are both just the selfish hunter. The Night Stalker is the one who works for the team. He just has so much help for everything team related. Firing Shadow Shot multiple times allows you to tether multiple enemies. And then it just creates the most... This one, this uh, subclass also, depending on the situation, has the possibility to create more orbs than any other subclass. That the hunter has so I don't know I believe where the Pathfinder is the most useful for like raids and possibly even it possibly even crucible but where the trapper I would probably use where the trapper trapper more for crucible because it enhances tracking and uh, the deadfall is super useful for setting up traps and uh, ambushes and things like that. Snare bomb. You can blind somebody who you're having a 1v1 gunfight with. Shadow shot makes it easier for uh, for player enemies to attack you. I'm not sure how much vanishing step helps you against uh, computer enemies though. But in my opinion, the Night Stalker is the way to go when you're in a raid. That is the best thing to do, maybe in Raids and Nightfalls. I would always use Night Stalker just to help the team out. That's just my opinion. But yeah, that's pretty much the breakdown for the Hunter. I hope this video helped you all a lot. Please, 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 if you enjoyed the video, like the video, subscribe to the channel. It's King of the Seven signing off. Peace. I should also have a card up asking you which one you're most likely to pick. Night Stalker, Arc Strider, or Gunslinger. I'm signing off though. Bye.